everyone, and welcome to Daily Scuba News. So the Bounds Expedition Team, uh, which is operating from the Ocean Infinity Vessel Seabed Constructor, have located the shipwreck of the German armoured cruiser, the SMS Scharnhorst, um, which was the flagship of Rear Admiral Graf von Spee's East Asia Squadron during World War I. Uh, so the wreck is located at 1,600 metres below sea level and it's actually about 100 miles off the Falkland Islands. So yeah, even though we are talking about this right now, the actual wreckage was found April last year. Yeah. But yeah, anyway, it was actually held back from public knowledge until it was premiered in a feature-length documentary called Lost Ships, The Hunt for the Kaiser Superfleet. That's a pretty yeah. cool, <laughs> cool title for a... TV show? Yeah, kind of. Anyway, anyway, this comes just in the nick of time as it also marks the 105th year of the, sorry, the 105th anniversary of the Battle of the Falkland Islands, which is one of the first great sea battles of World War I and one for, you know, which Germany actually never really recovered from, or should I say their Navy fleet didn't on that war. Yeah. Uh, so when the Scharnhorst sunk, it took 860 lives with it, including the captain himself, Graf von Spee. So when the wreck pinged, um, the, they basically sent down ROVs to scan the area, see what was down there, because it's quite far, you can't send divers. Um, and they Why not? Come on, man up. They only had shorties. <laughs> Single tanks. Yeah. Uh, Ponies, that's all they have. Uh, just an extra pony. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so they sent out ROVs to take pictures and video of the wreckage, <clears throat> pardon me, to try and see sort of what it was. The wreck itself was in fairly poor conditions, unfortunately, um, so they had to refer back to old pictures of them and kind of compare what they could, what they managed to capture from the ROV to see if it actually matched. And after some time, they actually got a positive match and they could say, yes, it's that. Yeah, it's good, it's good. It's good that they got enough clear evidence mm. on the water to make match it the historical records. Anyway, from the positions of the guns aboard uh, the vessel, this tells us actually that the ship had been knocked out by British fleets and was basically, they were basically sitting ducks and we came along and just went, <coughs> bye bye, see you later. So yeah, it's cool that they managed to find this wreck, uh, record it and also get it featured on a TV show. So nice work all involved. Uh, but what do you think about the story? Do you think now we know where the wreck lays, uh, will others be back to record it? Or should, you know, they leave it? Because after all, it actually is a war grave. Mm. Let's have a chat about it in the comments. Uh, thanks for watching. And as always, stay classy, scuba divers. Um, so the research program is said to be the very first of its kind to evaluate the genetic capacity of a natural marine population to adapt to environmental change. So it sounds like a lot of fun and they spent 10 years doing it. As long as the grant money keeps coming in, why not? Yep. Um, so anyway, fans